basically the cycle to separate a few of us sit on the forums and the pitches were too clear so essentially what we've got is commercial soap drum that all I've done has got a piece of 50 millimeter drain pipe 112 degree cut the hole out and as you can see just put it in with hot glue if you can just see inside where it actually enters there and then all we've got is a few bits of the line around so that's the top of the drum a couple of pieces of plywood that we just cut out a piece of 40 mil waste pipe again just glued in any handy container that will fit this was actually the guinea pigs uh, food storage bowl but it's not now it's now part of my cycling separator just bolted through this forms the inlet <coughs> excuse me already to assemble this just drops on the top obviously this creates the baffle to stop the, the dust getting into the extraction that just sits on the top just put the band on watch your fingers on this one because it doesn't half hurt if you get it wrong there we go so we're ready to go this is just a piece of hose I had lying around from an old wick stuff extractor in to the top it's just a bit of an interference fit obviously if you've got different size fittings you can do it differently so this is my nil frisk dust extractor that at the moment I've been going through a huge amount of bags just fully refurbished this table you can imagine the amount of sand and dust I've generated so this plugs into the side like so and this connects to whatever you're needing to do dust extraction with this just sits in the front like that and you're ready to go to normal. We'll turn it on. The test we did last night used stew two performs, got another one of these barrels with a commercial bit on the top and we emptied the, the entire barrel just plunging that in and we ended up with about 98% of the dust in here and a tiny little bit inside the extractor and now you know that's pretty pretty much it um, any questions feel free to ask us on the forum cheers <laughs>